the world yes all might my new favorite character <laughs> age unknown quirk unidentified he broke onto the hero scene and was an immediate hit thanks to his abilities hell yeah he's the man they don't just call him the symbol of peace it's what he is you know what people probably don't think about? He's obviously physically strong. But can you imagine the daily pressure of having to live up to this image every day? People thinking you're perfect? Can you imagine the pressure of like being the symbol of peace? There are rarely shades of gray, or at least there are not many shades of gray in the way we think about public figures. It's like best person ever, worst person ever, savior of the human race, vile criminal who should die. What if he has a bad day, you know? That's one of the things I thought was so interesting about, about that scene. He's like, listen, being a hero is tough. He has to do that daily. That's just his life. It's his reality. Interestingly, that creates a villainous pull in a way. Not really villainous, but morally suspect, where the incentive for him is to put on a fake face. And you could feel the pull towards him caring more about the image that he's built than actually doing what he feels is right. And this pillar of justice said to me... Pillar of justice, huh? Young man, you too can become a hero. I needed someone to tell me that. And then... The person I admire most in this world did. Yeah, it's a big moment. Part of me never thought I'd hear those words. It's good because it's not, it's not fake. My quirk is yours to inherit. <laughs> what? Inherit? Huh? <laughs> Are you guys ready for introduction overanalyzing? <laughs> so he gave him two different messages, right? He told him he couldn't be a hero and he could be a hero. And I think he was telling the truth both times. It's just, it meant different things. The first time, I think he's expressing the reality of that life, which is not what you might think it is. It's not glamorous. In fact, there's probably nothing in this world that's that's as glamorous as we imagine it to be when we're on the outside. There are daily realities of every of every profession or every pursuit that are a grind. You know, that's just the reality. At that moment, I think that was All Might's focus. It was the daily reality and the pressure he was under and the physical toll, right, of fighting villains. And so, no, Deku could not be a hero in that way. Or at least he wasn't prepared at that moment. The second time, Deku actually had done something emotionally heroic, if that makes sense. He showed incredible inner resolve and strength. That is a heroic trait. And so he deserved that praise from All Might. And it's not sugarcoating. That actually was a genuine expression of appreciation for what Deku did. It would have been wrong if All Might didn't see Deku as anything and was like, oh yeah, yeah, go for it. That would be a lie. That would set him up for failure. The honesty, I think, is one of the important qualities. Inherit what? <laughs> is that how this works? You should see your face right now. Don't worry. I'm not gonna force this thing on you. <laughs> weird, weird. Journalists always guess my quirk is super strength or some kind of invulnerability. When people ask in interviews, I always make a joke and dodge the question. <laughs> clever, clever. I wasn't born with this power. It's a sacred torch that was passed on to me from someone else. Interesting. Someone gave you this quirk? I can give you my abilities. Does that mean he loses it or no? The idea of passing on a quirk or inheriting, it just doesn't make any sense to me. I've never heard anything like that. I just roll with it. <laughs> Give someone else their power like a present, that's crazy. You're missing the moment. He's giving you his power. Stop it. <laughs> Sounds like you're overthinking this whole inheriting thing. Yeah, yeah, Stop. yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Thank you. He said it. The true name of my power is one for all. All for one as well? One person improves the power, then hands it off to another person. It continues to grow. <laughs> is this Full Metal Alchemist? Come on. The truth behind my strength. All Might is just Full Metal Alchemist in one. So he's got Armstrong's voice, Izumi's organs, Ed's hair, and Roy's philosophy. Each person protects those around them and they in turn protect those around them. It's not exactly that, but there's some element of that. There's some element of like, you improve on things and that extends to the next person and so on and so forth. But why would you choose to give me a gift like that? Because you ask those kinds of questions. <laughs> that means you're ready. You acted like a hero. It's time for you to join my academy, uh. Is this what I've been waiting for all these years? How can I turn him down? It's not gonna be easy, though. But it wasn't that simple. Receiving right, All Might's right. power turned out to be no easy task. Of course. As I'd soon find out. Yeah. Episode 3, Roaring Muscles. Deku's entering a world that he's always fantasized about, but the reality is always is gonna be harsh. Harsher than he can imagine. There are so many details about things you don't know until you, you get into them. So this whole trash thing is really some kind of hardcore gym workout. And you're my trainer. You got it. But there's another reason, too. Turns out this part of the beach used to be beautiful, but it's been a total mess for the last few years. Of course he cares about the environment. Anything that's dropped in the water ends up here. People take advantage of that when they're illegally dumping their trash. Now all the locals avoid this place. Looks like a lot of treasure on that beach. Was that a refrigerator? Some good stuff. <laughs> Restore the coastline for this entire section of the beach. That is the first step on your path, young man, towards being a hero. All Might is so wholesome. That made me distrust him at first. You know, I thought it would be a facade, but 
No, he, he seems to be the real deal. This is obviously a huge stroke of luck for Deku, but I feel like it's also a lucky thing for All Might because we saw how he was just an episode ago or two episodes ago or whatever, totally defeated, lost all motivation, but Deku has given him purpose, has reminded him of why he does this. And so he seems really happy. There's a lot going on at the same time. It's not just training powers. I feel like he's kind of a father to Deku at this point, or he will be. Deku was sort of lost and obsessive before he met him. I feel like that could go down a, a bad path, but now he has this, this role model who's just so, so great. Like he has his head totally in the right, the right way. So it must be the best school around, right? It's a long shot, but still, I'm going to shoot for the moon. UA. You've got a lot of spirit, fanboy! Wait, was that a joke? Shoot for the moon, Yue? Get it? Get it? I have to prepare my body for your quirk really fast! Yue's exam is in 10 months! Not to worry, That's a good man. amount of time. I've got you covered with the help of my handy aim to pass American dream plan! <laughs> Follow this to the letter and the beach will be cleaned up just in time. He's so into this. I have to work way harder than anyone else to get in. So what choice do I have, right? This is your moment. I began 10 months of absolute hell. Hell yeah. Are we gonna get a montage? Yes. Depending on the size and shape of the trash I'm hauling. So you see, with the appearance of quirks, the building standards act. He's gonna be totally different in school now, I bet. Also very tired. If I take recovery periods into account, assuming I'll be resting. Schoolwork no longer matters. <laughs> I mean I don't blame him. Is he talking out loud? I could start sneaking in extra workouts and lifting weights on my own, I suppose. Yeah. Mind your own business. He's got something more important to do than this. Fuck school. Pull yourself together, kid. You hear him? Your words mean nothing to him. He has true purpose. Training with All Might. <laughs> Love this rap music. Rap inspiring Rocky music. Yeah, man. You're doing it right. Oh, I thought they were going to be looking at Deku. How foolish I am. He's not gaining any mass, though. I guess he's a kid. Something so beautiful about this. Always. I'll never, never met a physical training montage I didn't like. It's impossible. There is nothing like that in the world. I've been thinking about this a lot and talking about this with friends recently. All my life I've been hearing all these lessons about motivation, like getting motivated, finding strength to do the things you want to do. The more I live and the more I try things, the more I realize that that's not the right direction. Action in itself creates the motivation. You can't do something like Deku's doing or anything. It doesn't have to be, you know, physical exertion and not become inspired by by your actions. When you do something you really want to do that you know is good for you, that immediately carries a benefit that creates a feedback loop that makes you want to do it more and makes you want to become good at it, if it's the right thing. I think action is where it starts. And that's great to know because it's demystified. It's like, here is something you could do. If you want to do it, then you do it. That's your choice. And if you don't do it, then you can't expect anything. If you do it, if it's the right thing for you, it will make you want to do it more and the problem of motivation has solved itself. And I happen to think that physical exertion like this specifically is great, especially speaking as a guy. I'm sort of on again, off again with exercise, but every time I go back to it, I realize how much time I've wasted and how it was foolish of me not to continue because it confers immediate benefits. The right kind of physical exertion just makes everything seem so clear and seem so easy. It's really difficult to feel bad after a good workout and it's such low hanging fruit too. You don't have to be like Deku, you know, doing it nonstop all day, every day. Maybe I'll add some of this music to my workout routine too. Look at him on the segue. Hey, hey kid, look alive now. You've only got three months left. What, are you gonna give up after all this work? The man needs his rest. You're overworked. Yeah, yeah. The aim to pass American Dream Plan was created with your body in mind. You haven't been sticking to it. You're overdoing things. That's gonna have the opposite effect uh, of what we want. Nah, nah, that, he's right. All Might's right. Well, he's got heart. Gotta hand it to the kid. He's given a lot of thought to the future. <laughs> spirits, what I like about you. Yeah, see, it's a mutual exchange. They both get things from each other. To this old man to adjust your plan. You're not an old man. How old is he? Come to think of it. It was the morning of the exam. Wow, we just got a 10 month training montage in like two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he's about to go Super Saiyan. You've tried it. Don't lie. You even cleaned up outside the area I told you to. Seriously. Yeah, man. Feels good. Holy thinking. <laughs> super crap. Interesting phrasing. And then he's dead. He died. I knew you had it in you, but this is beyond. <laughs> Look at this. Um, it's you. Ten months Bang. ago? Ten months ago. <laughs> the way he said that. 
Look how far you've come. Damn, he's actually pretty ripped. It was your hard work that did this, not mine. For so humble. So humble. <laughs> A strand of hair. This gift. You earned it. Why am I so flattered by this one strand of hair? It legit feels amazing. I was gonna say the only thing left for him to learn is how to have that hair. And grabbed the future. <laughs> this Eat strand this. of shining golden hair. To inherit my power, Eat this. You get to swallow some of my DNA. That's how it works. Oh no! That took a creepy turn. At least it's his hair. <laughs> kids show, kids show. <sighs> Moving on. Oh no, 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 no. I can't. I was so worried about missing the exam that I didn't have a chance to test out my new power. I feel like there's a catch. Stupid Deku. Kachan. Someone's threatened. Ever since that day, Kachan's been taking it easier on me. Something got through. I'm actually going to be a hero. Or I'll just die. Oh, new character. I stopped you with my quirk. I'm sorry I didn't ask first. Your hands? Holding stuff is your quirk? Huh? Oh, it's like some kind of telekinesis. Got it. Holy whoa. I just Holy whoa. Girl. Congratulations. True, he didn't say anything. You were talked to by a girl. Big day, though. Big day. What's up, UA candidates? Thanks for tuning in to me, your school DJ. Why do they have to be such hams? I mean, they're superheroes. So crazy nuts that all the UA teachers well, are so shut up. They're gonna be best friends. Get your eyes off my card. <laughs> Damn. Best friends. Your goal in this trial is to use your quirk to raise your score by shredding these faux villains like a mid-song guitar solo. Sounds fun. Good premise. You've listed four types of villains, not three. With all respect, if this is an error on official UA materials, it is shameful. We are exemplary students. We expect the best from Japan's most notable school. This guy's a student? If you can't bother to take this seriously, leave. You're distracting the rest of us. Sorry. This guy's a barrel of laughs. The fourth villain type is worth zero points. That guy's just an obstacle we'll be throwing in your way. So they're kind of like traps you have to get by in games. The whole thing's like a video game. Yeah, that's what makes it so fun. Hope you practice hitting more than just books. And now Deku's gonna enter this with untested power. Time to put ten months of training with all might to the test. Time to give it my all. Yeah, I feel like he won't be able to use it yet. I won't let myself down. <laughs> nice. This show is surprisingly touching. I didn't expect that. All Might has already won me over. I admit he lost a point or two for telling Deku to swallow his DNA, but we'll let that slide. We'll overlook that in light of all the other great things he's done. But honestly speaking, it's heartwarming. All Might, in my eyes, seems heroic beyond his abilities. It's his outlook. He's generous. He has a vision and a standard that he holds himself to. He's disciplined. He's intelligent. He's capable. He just has a lot of things that are really admirable. And the way he focuses on Deku like that, it feels like a loving gesture. And then I love the training montage. I love that feeling of like finding something that excites you and just diving into it. I live for that feeling. For some reason, the way this channel always works out, the things that come my way that I watch very often are directly relevant to something that I'm going through right at that moment. And this is one of those moments because a couple weeks ago, I sort of took stock in the way things were and my overall mood and sentiment and realized that I was sort of stuck in a rut, similar to what All Might might have been in the first episode or so, where he sort of lost some connection and he feels a little bit beaten down. You know, I felt that way. And also my girlfriend dumped me. <laughs> So I'm thinking about all these ways I can like hit out into the world again. And so I set a vision for the future that makes me really excited to think about. And then I thought, what are all the, the steps I could take between now and then that would maximize my enjoyment or my success in that thing? To be specific, I'm talking about going to Korea. I'm probably going to go to Korea in the fall. And so I'm imagining the future, me going to Korea, me being out in the world again, me meeting new people. And connected to that, I have a vision of all the things I want to do between now and then that will maximize my, my chances for enjoyment when I get there, for, for success, for maximum living. Because I want to go out into the world again. I want to land there and just crush. It. And so I added a bunch of things to my to my routine, like studying Korean again and physical exercise so I can get back in shape, started taking better care of myself and my diet. And because I have that vision and because I'm taking those steps and it's connected to that vision, it just feels great. And I feel so revitalized. And little by little, I'm getting this feeling back, you know, this feeling that I've experienced at multiple times in my life where I start to feel unstoppable. And I know what that feeling is and I know how to push it. Like I can fan the flames. And so I'm trying to like push myself into that space as much as possible. And it's been a lot of fun. And so I'm getting that feeling watching this montage. It just feels so good when you connect your action to a goal like that and you feel like it's right. 
and you can see the fruits of your labor. And you're not just idly waiting around for, for something to happen, you know? That's a beautiful thing. And going back to what I said earlier, it's not about waiting around and thinking about motivation. It's about just starting on, on the path, you know? Just placing a point somewhere in the future and aiming at it and then just starting moving. It has a cumulative effect, I think. It becomes its own reward. So yeah, great stuff. It's a lot of fun. I'll see you guys next time for episode four when I'm guessing Deku will mess, mess up this exam somehow. But figure out a way. Figure out a clever way to manage it.